What's up my YouTube friends? Welcome back to my channel for another reaction video. So, like usual, I have no idea what I'm about to watch, but I'm super excited. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> in England, where Larry Poppins is from? Oh, it, was, oh, it took place in London. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. You know, I dated her for a while. <laughs> You dated Mary Poppins. Yes, I did. No, yeah, I did. We were very young. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. I was the first guy to get into her chim chim tureen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of ruined things going in the moment of passion. She started screaming at some weird word. It was like Super California Refrigerator <laughs> X the Delicious Lotion, something like that. <laughs> Pretty kinky chick, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so, Pina, what has impressed you most since we've been in England? Uh, I love this country because just about everything is double entendre. <laughs> like what? Oh, come on, even the food. Bangers and mash. Come on! <laughs> That's sausages and potatoes. It sounds more like a male dance team. <laughs> or two guys dating. <laughs> I don't want to be mash, all right? <laughs> Have you seen anyone famous since we've been here? Yes, I actually did. I saw uh, Victoria Beckham. You did not. I did too, I think. She was facing me, and then when she turned sideways, she disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that the very first x-ray was taken right here in Birmingham, England in 1896? You'll call it an x-ray. I call it a selfie. <laughs> so what did you do today? <laughs> I saw where they keep all those useless <coughs> wax figures. Ah, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. No, no, Parliament. <laughs> uh. With that in mind, have you learned anything since we've been here? Uh, I've learned that the folks in Birmingham like to be called bronies. <laughs> right. So I took that knowledge forward. Unfortunately, the folks in Scotland do not like to be called scummies. <laughs> oh, they got all pissed off. I don't know what the hell they were saying. You ever tried to talk to an angry Scot? Good God. <laughs> the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Did you know that the Reverend Wilbert Audrey wrote Thomas the Tank Engine books here? Really? Mm -hmm. So a clergyman came up with books for young boys. <laughs> well, you know what they say. <laughs> What's that? Write what you know. <laughs> they were talking to this guy in the front row. He's uh, very calm, talking to their nice. Not you! <laughs> Okay, what was your first name again? What? N N Nabil? <laughs> Is that a first name or something you'd take medicine to get rid of? <laughs> Is that a family name? They're just parents drunk and they're like, uh, uh. <laughs> or what was name then Nabil? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Is that a common English name? No. What? Uh, what? I'm from Iraq. Oh, you're from Iraq? What the f? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Learning in England, get the f over my rack in the front row. <laughs> okay, now I've forgotten your name. Is it Abdul? Abdul? Net? No? Nabu, Nabil. Holy crap. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> I know a little fact. Did you know that people in Scotland buy 40 bottles of whiskey every second? This is my favorite country ever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Glad NASCAR in the uck. In the what? In the uck. <laughs> oh, it's UK. Oh. <laughs> you can still. But Glasgow is, uh, you told me it was confusing for you. Yeah, it is. Why? Yesterday at lunch, my waitress asked me if I wanted some tatties and meeps. <laughs> then I said yes. Instead of taking off her top, she brought me food. <laughs> it was the worst strip club I'd ever been to. Tatties and meeps are served with haggis. Well, she didn't show me that either. <laughs> but next week we're in Australia, so that's when I'll see down under. <laughs> Did you know that, that golf was invented in Scotland? <gasps> Fascinating. <laughs> you know what else was invented here? What being in public and yelling, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, we might use that on a DVD and they're not gonna let us say shit. Too. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do the joke again? Yeah, what the hell? Why not? It's a good joke. They laughed at it. I can do that. All right, here we go. Take two, assholes. <laughs> she talked to them about the, you know, how the, the way they speak. Okay, now look, we're in their country and they speak normally. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah, I learned it. Okay, ready? I watched the video. It's like this. <clears throat> I can't do it, Captain! <laughs> How about the Loch Ness Monster? How's that? Well, do you believe in a mysterious creature that lives in the murky depths and breathes fire? Believe in it? I married its sister. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of famous <laughs> actors are Scottish. Like who? Sean Connery, Ewan McGregor, Gerard Butler. What about Benedict? Cumberbatch. No, no, he, well, he's a famous actor, but he's British. I know, I just like saying Cumberbatch. <laughs> Probably, you know, I'll show you my Benedict if you show me your Cumberbatch. <laughs> We've been talking about Scotland a bit. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I read the other day that Scotland is actually the, I've saved this fact for you, the murder capital of Europe. <gasps> I didn't do it. I have nothing to do with this shit. <laughs> Did you know that bagpipes have existed in <laughs> Scotland since the 14th century? Oh, <gasps> that is totally about the time the murder rate went up. <laughs> Did you know that I think my mother was part Scottish? Uh, why do you say that? Sometimes she'd want to put me in Scottish clothing. Really? Oh, sure. She'd say, I killed you. <laughs> killed, 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 killed. I killed you. <laughs> Jackie Dawson, Jackie, where are you? They expect to know my favorite voice. Jackie, lay off the testosterone. <laughs> You sound like a fucking guy. <laughs> you scared the shit out of everyone around you. Where's Jackie? I'm here. <laughs> this is why in my country we cover our women. <laughs> Where are you? Ma Mari? Right, I can't roll my R's. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Last name Christy, is she here? Up there. With the guy that sounds like a chick. <laughs> she says, uh, Dear Ahmed, I have a problem with strange people touching me. I would love to tell them I will kill them but that can come across as rude. Any other suggestions? Put your clothes back on and get off the pole. Oh. 
Dr. Ackerman, can you please wish Lisa Lamont a happy birthday? Hey, hey. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Lisa, happy freaking birthday. Yay. How old are you? What? What the hell did she say? How old? Oh, oh yeah, okay. So you said 30, 30. <laughs> I'm gonna try to 30. I'm 30, you damn fool. A Scottish dead terrorist? <laughs> Is something I can work on, lad. Did you know that um, they, they have the oldest tree in Norway right here in Bergen? Fascinating. <laughs> if I want to see some old wood, I'll take a Viagra. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know the first ever ski jumper was from Norway? Let me guess, married and miserable? <laughs> so you've never been snow skiing? Actually, yes, once. Broke a leg. Oh, well, I bet that hurt. I don't know, what wasn't my leg. <laughs> well, another thing, you, you know, you better not get caught driving drunk. Why? Well, if you're caught, you have to spend 30 days in jail. Ooh. They suspend your license. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they fine you 10% of your annual income. <gasps> so that would be $12. <laughs> Do you know where I can buy some whiskey around here? Well, in Norway, <laughs> you can only buy liquor from special stores called, uh, good God. <laughs> Vim. How do you say it? Yeah, that. So do you know about the Midnight Sun? Huh? The Midnight Sun? Is that Norway's that man? <laughs> no, in the summer, some parts of Norway get 24 hours of sunlight. <laughs> what? <laughs> That they have 24 hours of sunlight. Well, that's almost a whole day. <laughs> so we've done a lot of interesting things while in Norway. Yeah, this morning I milked a goat. Oh. Akane got mad at me. I think I was touching his chick. <laughs> on, on another subject I was talking about with Walter, the Norwegians invented skiing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. In Norwegian, the word ski means piece of wood. Oh, yeah, a piece of wood. Yeah. Can I try speaking Norwegian? Sure. Okay. Um, that hot lady in the front row is giving me a big ski. <laughs> Heard something else interesting. Did you know that Norway sends uh, Sweden its garbage to use in its recycling programs? A lot of countries import other countries' garbage. Canada gave us Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, while we're here, wait, I want to ask you something. Can we go to Ikea? This is Norway. Ikea is in Sweden. Oh, do that. I wanted to give Ikea a new advertising slogan. And what's that? Ikea! you! <laughs> All right, now that was definitely funny. I love these Jeff Dunham videos. They're just hilarious, and it, he doesn't disappoint in any of his comedy. Uh, his puppets are very witty and sarcastic, and I love it. What's cool here, though, is that he seems to, you know, use information from the countries that he's visiting, and he puts it straight into his actual show. And 
I can imagine that takes a lot because you have to learn a whole bunch of different information. You have to use it correctly and then, you know, you have to say it in a way that's not going to offend them. So here he does a great job of that because he's taking their facts and he's turning it just into, you know, a funny conversation. And to top it all off, it seems like he's taking, you know, audience information or he's asking them questions before the show and he's incorporating it into it. So I think it's really cool when a comedian can do that because it shows the audience that you care that they're seen and that of course you know they're part of the actual show and for a comedian to actually do that shows that you know they're very talented and i feel like he's just a good comic now i really do hope that one day i get to see him live because i think he'd be hilarious um i don't know if he's going to come to an arena anywhere near me but if he does i will definitely try to make it so hopefully that happens in the future all in all though i did enjoy this video hopefully you did too if you did please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below also, make sure to hit that little notification button. That way you guys know when I drop my next video. And if you get the chance, check out my Twitch stream on Wednesdays and Fridays. Just check my page for the times. Well, thanks for joining me here today, everybody. Stay spicy, my friends.